Hey, what's up everyone? Ray here from Gadgets TV again. So today we are with the in-depth review of the new Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. Uh, I have covered up with the hands-on review also. Uh, also covered up uh, the hands-on review. You can just check on the video if you want to check up the hands-on review. This is the in-depth review of the new Samsung Galaxy uh, Note Pro. So talking about this uh, business kind of a business feature device, I must say, because this device is pretty huge, 12-inch in size. Uh, taking some of the business uh, features like if you can work on uh, word files you can work on PPTs and all I'm just opening up a test document on the Handcom viewer which comes pre-installed on the Tab Pro so talking about the business feature this device has a 12 inch screen which I, I must say it's huge and uh, working on business applications like Handcom viewer you can open up word files PPT files I'm just opening up another test file like a CV rather I just had a test CV so I'm just opening up and zooming it up a little bit for you all so you can see when you're working on Handcom View it's sometimes a little bit laggy because it takes up a little bit uh, lag so I think the device uh, the Handcom View just hanged right now so I'm just uh, not able to work on Handcom View so I have to just uh, try to fix it up for you so I have just rebooted the device it was not working at all on the Handcom View so, uh, being this device uh, having some of the uh, business features, it sometimes hangs also, right? I've just stuck on the Handcom View features. So, jumping straight ahead on the benchmark part, because it's really essential to show you up a benchmark on devices like this. Being a huge device, being a hardware boost up device with 3GB of RAM, with the Exynos chipset, with Android 4.4.2 KitKat, with uh, whatever whatever you call this being a beast of a hardware specification I hope this device will uh, turn up absolutely uh, more and performance wise it should be more and yes it's it, it scored about 34,217 which I personally think it's huge when it comes to devices like this and obviously you should expect also on this device being whatever the Samsung is charging for the device and obviously the hardware features and specifications what this device has you can just go through the uh, specification of CPU RAM test and also you can just pause it up and you can check it out so uh, as obviously what I was telling about the benchmark this is absolutely amazing when it comes to uh, devices like this being a huge device it sometimes strain us on hands if you're working on for a long time uh, one great feature which this device is having is the S Pen feature which I think is good when it uh, when it comes to handy features like taking action memo taking scrapbooking features using up the pen window and all so let's see how this uh, device works when it comes to S Pen features and all so you can just uh, st type up a action memo kind of a thing where you can type up a number, you can type up a website, you can type up a small notes or something. It directly gets saved to your uh, you, to your applications and you can access it later accordingly whenever you want to. So another good feature, nothing much to tell about the uh, S Pen features because I hope you know by now what the S Pen features and what the S Pen feature is all about. Just uh, doing up a short. Uh, review of the S Pen feature also because I think being this device a business pen friendly device it should be uh, it should it should have all these features like S Pen features and all so uh, playing on more on this device uh, just to show you some of the other features of the S Pen we are trying to go to the uh, option where it comes to screen grabbing kind of a feature you can select up a particular a type of a screen particular part of a screen it directly opens up that only part it saves up kind of a, that kind of only part and you can just uh, scrapbooking feature on this device is pretty good when it comes to uh, accessing different applications different or rather if you're on a home screen also you can tape up you know, take up particular screenshots of a particular page uh, jumping furthermore we are trying to uh, do another uh, S Pen feature which is kind of a screen grabbing feature when it comes to taking up screenshot of your whole page and you can customize accordingly you can write up a te text and all and you can just save it away directly to your uh, devices gallery and you can access it later suppose whenever you are into a browser and all if you want to take up a screenshot you can do it up a handy feature so uh, jumping on to the another great feature on this device of the note on this on this tab pro device is the uh, multi window feature which I personally think is good when when it comes to multi window you can open up up to four applications now on this uh, huge 12 inch screen and you can uh, work up up to four applications and uh, devices opens up four application so uh, with the with a little bit of bad experience when it comes to handcom wear you can just uh, open up some of the 
other applications apart from handcom viewer i think because it was lagging up a little bit when it comes to handcom viewer opening up word files basic word files rather it, it got stuck in my case might be some of the issues with uh, the application that time but keeping it aside you can open up up to four windows you can walk up in messages you can uh, browse your facebook or whatever you can open up your galleries you can browse photos you can open up uh, youtube and all so the message box is also a great handy feature when it comes to messaging so you can open up one last app thing that is called a pen window feature which is there on this uh, uh, tab pro as well you can open up last one application at the end of the uh, s pen feature that is a pen window you can do a drop a small screen and you can open up some of the handy applications like music player or calculator just now i'm just opening up calculator just to show you the small uh, pen window feature so overall when it comes to business kind of uh, features this device uh, is ha gets rather has all the good features of business you can access up to uh, on this device uh, some of the great features like linkedin you can uh, download some of the additional applications you get 50 gigabyte of dropbox also with this device so camera feature being an important part you get a 8 megapixel camera on this device which i think is personally uh, almost like the grand 2 camera fx it also has a burst mode so i'm just taking up a burst mode photos of a moving car at my uh, outside my window over here so you can just uh, see this device takes pretty good uh, burst mode effects and all but uh, when it comes to huge devices like this you i, I won't think you'll be comfortable enough taking up photos and all but still tablet taking photos on tablets is pretty much okay nowadays i think some of the basic uh, uh, small uh, the small extras that the device has is some of the windows like you can add up applications from the rather effects from the, the bottom of the screen like uh, fish eyes and all some of the other features is also there so being a business kind of a device you get handcom viewer you get uh, multi user mode you can access up to 8 users maximum on this device you get e meeting you get webex you get remote pc you get the sketchbook you get dropbox so it's kind of a business kind of features of the tab pro with a huge 12 inch screen with a good decent enough battery life with 3 gb of ram with a good hardware specifications uh, and all so overall what i must say it's a pretty good device when it comes to uh, this tab pro i'm very much happy performing and uh, doing up works and all i hope you like this in their preview if you have any question put down in the comment section below i'll try to answer that for you all so this is the end of the new samsung tab pro